Now let us discuss about stimulated emission. Now already we have studied about stimulated absorption. Now in the same case here, let us explain it on the basis of energy level diagram again. What we said in the earlier case was there exist two energy levels. This is energy level E2 and this is the energy level E1. Now in these states, we said that the atoms will absorb the amount of radiation E is equal to H nu and they move on to the higher energy state. Now the atoms are already there in the energy state E2 after the stimulated absorption. Now these energies which are possessing some amount of energy with them, they move on to the or they get de-excited to the lower energy state. Because after staying there, they lose the amount of energy because of the interaction of radiation with matter or interaction of radiation with the respective atoms there in the higher energy state, they get de-excited to the lower energy state. And during their de-excitation, an amount of energy of the order of E is equal to H nu is supposed to be liberated. So photons are getting liberated out. Now this amount of energy which is accepted by the atoms in the energy state E2 after getting interaction with the matter or radiation, then those energy levels get de-excited to the lower energy state. This amount of energy which is required for the atoms to get de-excited to the lower energy state is called as the stimulated emission. So we say that if the radiation interacts with atoms which are already in the excited state E2, then de excitation of atoms to the lower energy state E1 takes place with emission of photons, emission of photons of energy say E is equal to H nu. So this process is called stimulated emission. Coming to the next case. We discuss about spontaneous emission. So the atoms are getting de-excited to, to the lower energy state liberating amount of energy is equal to H. In the same case here also we understand about spontaneous emission as. Now these are the two energy states E2 and E1. Here also the de-excitation of atoms are taking place from E2 to E1. That is from higher energy state to lower energy state. But the basic difference between these two statements is, no doubt the atoms are getting uh, interacted with atoms. But without the amount of interaction of radiation with the atoms, these atoms are going to stay there for a certain amount of a time. After losing their amount of time, they get de-excited to the lower energy state without the involvement of the radiation. Simply they are staying there in the E2 state for few seconds of time. Once they consume their time, they are getting back to the lower energy state. During this process, they are liberating an amount of energy E is equal to E2 minus E1. The difference of energy which is of the order of H nu is equal to E2 minus E1 is supposed to be liberated during this process of de-excitation of atoms from energy state E2 to E1. 
This is called as the spontaneous emission. Means with the no certain amount of a time gap, they are getting de excited. And the time which is uh, consumed by the respective atoms is what we call it as the lifetime. So, uh, once their lifetime is completely finished, then they move on to the lower energy state, releasing an amount of energy which is equal to the difference of energy states between the two states of the respective atom, which is E2 and E1. So, we say that E2 difference of E1, which is H nu, is happening in case of this particular process. So, we say that. The atoms in the the atoms in the excited state drop to the drop or de excite to the lower energy state after they have stayed. in the excited state for a short duration of time called, called as their lifetime and h nu is equal to e2 difference of e1 is the energy emitted. This process is called spontaneous emission. So, this has nothing to do with the lifetime, but here it has something to do with the lifetime. After consuming lifetime is what we call it as spontaneous emission without the involvement of radiation and with, with the amount of uh, interaction of radiation. And the irrespective of the light, lifetime, they get de excited, is what we call it as the stimulated emission. So, both the two topics are understood in based on the energy level diagram.